Breaking news right now, an urgent search underway at Orland Square Mall in the southwest suburbs as police respond to a deadly shooting inside the mall. Police just moments ago telling us at least one victim has been killed as dramatic amateur video from inside the mall continues to pour into our newsroom. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Kristen Nicole. Don has the night off. I'm Corey McFerrin. Let's get right to it. The very latest in what is a fluid situation unfolding right now in the southwest suburbs. Air Fox flying above the scene in Orland Park where there is a massive police presence at the Orland Square Mall. Police tell us the shooter killed a 19-year-old man and there may be another victim. We have team coverage of the shooting tonight. Our Michelle Fiore live at Advocate Christ Medical Center, but we begin with Elizabeth Matthews live at Orland Square Mall. Elizabeth. Corey and Kristen, still a very chaotic scene here on the Grange Road here in Orland Park at the Orland Square Mall. The shooting happened around 6.45. Just getting a, an update from police. We do know that one person was shot. That person was taken to the hospital and has since died. As for that second person, that's still kind of unclear. There may be a second shooting victim in this. That person may have self-transported themselves to a nearby hospital. Let's give you kind of uh, an, air, uh, an aerial view from Air Fox over what this scene looks like. You you can see that there's a lot of Orland Park police still on the ground. A lot of neighboring police departments also helping out tonight surrounding the Orland Square Mall. Again, the shooting happening around 645 when a 19 year old male police tell us was wounded inside the mall and rushed to a nearby hospital. Now we've received some dramatic amateur video from inside the mall. Some images showing police searching that building uh, while others appear to show people attending to a potential victim on the ground. Other videos apparently show an empty food court area where police say that shooting happened. Afterwards, malls, the mall cleared out f some shoppers, some employees fearing for their lives. Now, police say the shooter is still on the loose. According to the police update we just received, they believe that the person, the shooter, has left the mall and witnesses told them that they believe they saw that shooter exiting the mall. But as a precaution, police and security have been going through the mall store by store just to make sure that no, no other suspect is still inside. A police source tells us it appears this was a targeted shooting, at least at first, rather than an active shooter situation. Mall employees, shoppers have been stuck in the mall ever since. Again, this happening around 645. Only recently were allowed to leave. Here's one frightening account from two mall store employees. One of them says she heard seven shots fired. We work at Victoria's Secret, so we were in the store at the time. I was in back with my manager talking to her, and over our headset, we heard another associate yell, 911, there's a shooting in the mall. So we ran to the back, we gathered up our customers and just stayed in the back. We heard some pops, but we didn't see anything. We've been in there for a good 45 minutes to an hour. What was it like in there with the customers? What was going through your head? There was customers. There was at least 30 people in the back with us. We were all like locked up in an office. I know there was at least probably 10 little kids. They were all crying. Just an absolutely terrifying situation for those inside the mall tonight. Uh, some hearing the shots actually fired themselves. Some hearing through passersby that there was some sort of shooting inside. Again, happened around 645 here at the Orland Square Mall. Again, a 19-year-old was shot, we believe, in the chest, taken to a nearby hospital where that person has now died. There may be a second person involved in the shooting, a second victim, and the shooter is still on the loose. Police believe that the shooter no longer is in the mall, but they're still methodically going through the mall just to make sure that it is safe and they're allowing the shoppers and the employees to leave. Guys, back to you in the studio. Elizabeth, thank you for that. Michelle Fiore live for us right now at Christ Medical Center 